Hey, in today's video, I want to talk about the fact that it took me five years to create this YouTube channel. And um, further, I want to explain why sometimes the best time to start is right now. So if you're up for a little story time, keep watching. Cinematic stuff always amazed me. The idea that somebody has the ability to bring life into a script, into an idea, just sounded awesome to me. Sometimes I found myself walking through the streets and look around. How could this place look like in a short film? What would the protagonists do? How would the people who are watching feel? Thoughts of the 18 year old me. Five years later, I'm sitting at my desk listening to Denzel Washington. Dreams without goals are just dreams. Between suffering the pain of doing and suffering the pain of regret, one must choose wisely. A few weeks ago, I officially started my journey as a content creator on YouTube. My feelings are mixed. Who's going to watch my videos? Are they going to be liked? Are there people who are actually interested in what I have to say? So to be quite honest, many questions surfaced when I thought about this topic. But somewhere on the way I just decided, go for it. For a moment, all my thoughts were silenced by the, by the will to achieve something. Thinking about this made me question myself. Where along the way did I start to think like this? Take a moment and remember. Remember when fear was not your first counsel. Remember a time when every plan you made became an action. Remember a time when you planned, tried, failed, got up again. Plan tried, failed, got up again. Your first attempt to ride a bike probably failed. Even your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth. For a while, you thought you weren't even made for sitting on a rickety wire on two tires. Today, you are doing hasty maneuvers, long distances, and to be honest, you don't even remember your last time falling. You're capable. Even though you failed so many times, you're capable. Maybe, just maybe, riding bike wasn't your first love. That is fair. But I'm more than convinced that there are things in your life that you can now master brilliantly, that you failed just as brilliantly in the past. The point I want to make is this. There was a time in our life where we did things simply. The first thought was not whether we could do it or how best to do it. The sheer drive just made us do things every day. The fact that some of these decisions led to bloody knee anger from our parents or a broken window pane is a topic for another video. The fact is, whether it is riding a bike, the first appearance on a big stage or something else. We have grown with these things. And the next time it was our turn, it was a little bit easier than before. What are you capable of? So now the big question. Why did it take me five years to start a YouTube channel? To keep it short, I think I was afraid. Afraid of failure. Afraid of what people might think what they would say. Further, I was afraid that I can't live up to the expectations I set for myself. I want to be good at what I do and I want people to see it. I think that being liked and being successful represent a major part in the criteria which decides if we do things or we don't. But what good do these expectations, fears or thoughts do if they keep us from doing what we love? 
In our society, many things are centered about the thought of being popular, being accepted by the broad audience. There's this illusion being created that approval is the scale of success. Sadly, approval won't last long. It can change as fast as every day. Maybe it's time to start doing things you love for yourself and not for the approval of people. Most probably, I won't be the best content creator. Maybe my content will be just average or even worse below that. But to be honest, as much as this sounds weird to say, that's not what it's about. I like doing videos. I like producing. I like the filming. I like taking my thoughts and put it into action, getting creative. And maybe there's someone out there, just one person who sees these videos and is inspired. And ultimately, I like the thought that I'm able to walk through the streets and look around. How could this place look like in a short film? What would the protagonists do? How would the people that are watching feel? But the only way to figure out if you're prepared, you must try. Maybe you and I, we will suffer the pain of failure, but we won't suffer the pain of regret. What is your dream that needs action? What fuels the spirit?